Hell of a fight, man. Appreciate it. What did you think of it? I mean, was it fun for you in there? It was back and forth, a lot of positions. Uh, you know, Ramsey's a tough guy, man. He's uh, he's been through it. You know what I mean? He's been in the UFC. He's he's fought a lot of really good guys. Um, I think my biggest dilemma is coming off the layoff, the year layoff. You know, um, ACL injury is not something that's easily overcame. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, last June, almost a year to the day, you know, I tore my ACL in Daytona, and I. Uh, I question it just like everybody else. You know what I mean? How long? How long do I got? What? What I still offer? You know what I still got to offer? Uh, I'm just not done, man. I've got so much more to prove. I feel like, and and this is probably the toughest year I've had uh, when it comes to competing in mixed martial arts. The biggest layoff. Um, so to come back and be able to put on a, a good performance. You know what I'm saying? Not get totally demolished or just beat down or, or finished for that fact. Um, it feels great, man. Uh, I feel like I, it's well deserved. You know, me, me, and my gym, my team, my coaches, my kids, we all deserve this, man. Well, I, I don't put the work in just for me, man. I put it in for them. So, Ramsey's a tough kid, man. Do you know what I mean? And he fuck, excuse me, he fought, what, six, seven months ago? Do you know what I mean? Or less than that, six months, five months, whatever. Um, so, he, and, and, and he trains in a good squad, too. So, you know, the biggest thing is just overcoming the layoff and, and the injury, man. Did you have a sense going into the to the last round of where things might have stood? Yeah, my coaches scorecards? are real with me, man. You know, we, we knew we were down where we kind of felt like that. I'm harder on myself than anybody's ever going to be when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, I kind of I think I went for Kamor, you know, put myself on the bottom at some point and, uh, and gave him the opportunity to get on top of me, which is not a place you want to be with, a, with with an experienced guy like that. Um, so I kind of put myself down. Do you know what I'm saying? When I come back, you know, I, I didn't ask coach if I was down yet. I know I had round two to go. Uh, but round two didn't go the best for me, you know. I mean, he took me down again. He's on top of me a little bit, a little, little transition. I hit him a few hard times from the bottom. I think he liked that too much. Um, yeah, he'll tell you it's the hardest he's probably ever been hit off my or with somebody on on their back. Uh, I, and, and then when I went in between two and three, you know, my coaches were honest with me. You know, they're they you know we we gotta you know stay focused. You got timing. You know, make sure that. You know, your eyes are open to that you're in this, man. You're not out of it. You're still in this. You're down, but you're still You're never out. And uh, we came out. We threw those spinning back kicks. You know what I mean? He landed flat-footed. I landed flat-footed. And I was just a little quicker on the second one. Do you know what I mean? Because um, I knew he was right in the middle. He wasn't going to take an angle on me. So I threw that one. And when I hit him with it, he kind of, huh. And when I seen him go down, I knew he was going to think I was going to throw another something. And then when he, I threw a switch knee. You know what I'm saying? When his head came down, I caught him, swiped him. It was a beautiful finish. Unless I looked at the wrong scorecards, I think you guys were even going into the third on two of them, yeah. and you were up two nothing on on the other one. But regardless, you got to finish, which which at this at this point in this format is huge. Yeah, and that's just me in general, man. It ain't not so much about the format as much as it is just who I am. Um, I, I'm not. I don't like that. I don't like people. It, to me, it's still a loss. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you were to give me another four and another five. Do you know what I'm saying? It would be completely different. But you got these men telling me that, oh, you won, man. Good job. Man, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that for him. I don't like that for me. You know, a couple of things didn't didn't go go the way for a few of these gentlemen tonight. You know what I'm saying? This is a this is a tough thing to play out for a lot of us, man. This tournament format. It's 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 difficult, if, especially if you haven't done it before. Do you know what I'm saying? At the end of round one, you had that Kamor in, and it seemed like you just needed a few more seconds to, uh, to cinch it up. Did you feel the same way? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, my coaches kept screaming at me, you know, step over the head, step over the head. If, if I would have pinched my knees and had about 10, 15 more seconds, which I would have got my leg out of half guard, and I would have been able to secure it a little better and, and, and eventually either get the tap or snap it. So. Oh, uh, scrape my knuckle, man. I, I'm just fearful of these little cuts because they infect, and it's just it'll cause hella drama for you. You know what I mean? Like, can you talk about the speech after the fight? Was it something yeah, you wanted to get off your chest for a while, or was it something that was like a spur of the moment? I just think that the world's a dark place right now, man. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of debate going on. There's a lot of controversy all over the place, you know, with, with, with the political side of things. You know, I'm not, I'm not a real political dude. I don't, I, don't, I don't really comment on a whole lot of things, keep my opinions to myself. But I just, feel, I just feel a lot of darkness in a lot of places, and a lot of people are... You know, they're separating each other, and they're, they're letting other things divide us. And it's just, it's just, I just don't like it. I don't, I don't like seeing that. I don't like my kids seeing that, and I don't, I don't want to be a part of it. I just want everybody to know that it doesn't matter who they are, man. They have a heart, you know. And it's, it's, it's easy to use that thing, man, to shake somebody's hand, look them in the eye, and be genuine. Do you know? It really is, man. The, dark, the world's a dark ass place, and, and love is light, man. If you can shed a little bit of love on something, you can brighten somebody's world. It's very easy to do. You know what I mean? It's, 
So yeah, it weighs on me a little bit having to see that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not much of a social bug, but you know, I got, if there's a message that I can get through to anybody, man, it's just be genuine. You know, be be a real dude. Don't 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 hate on somebody. Don't hate on something. Just you know, it doesn't take much to smile and, and care just a little bit about something. So was it nice that you got to work at the Crushers Club um, a couple days ago for workouts? Yeah, 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 that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, those boys were, uh, they got out there and they, they, you know, they, they, they showed me a thing or two with some shadow boxing. It was a pretty cool deal, man. You know what I mean? My coaches got in late, so, you know, and I'm not one to not, 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 not share and help. You know what I mean? And them kids over there, you know, giving them a spotlight a little bit. They're all tough on the side. You pull them on stage, they kind of got a little nervous and stuff like that. I kind of explained to them, that's just the way it is, man. That's life. You know, it gets hard, but just, just throw your hands a little bit. Dance with me, you know? They had a good time. I had a good time with them. Yeah, being the, obviously the tournament champion and World Series of Fighting, do you believe you're the odds-on favorite, or is there anybody impressed you tonight? They're all tough. You know what I mean? Everybody in this tournament's tough. Everybody in this league's tough. It's uh, Pro Fight League did an amazing job of, of rounding these guys up. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously, it's something that's brand new, and, and it's going to take a little bit of, of, of you know molding to get it perfect and get it right. Uh, but I think with athletes like myself and a few of the other guys that are on this card, I think that... Uh, that, you know, we can get it done, and I think that, that we can reach the world. We can get some messages out there. We can, uh, you know, it could be something really special in the years to come for sure. I hope, I hope it catches on and people understand what it's all about. As far as I'm the favorite, and I better be. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I put a lot of work into this, man. I don't take it easy. I, I'm a workhorse. Like I told you guys before, I get up. I'm, I'm the first person in the gym, and I'm, I'm one of the last, if not the last, at least last three to leave. You know what I mean? So these guys, I'm not, I'm not letting this go too easy, man, at all. Who's some of the Factory X teammates uh, that you've been working with? Oh man, I've got, there's a laundry list of those guys, <laughs> man. You know, Chris Camozzi, Dustin Jacoby, Marcus Edwards. Uh, you know, James Krause comes out there. We got, you know, Steven Siler's out there now. We get, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's quite a few, man. You know, the list goes on. Josh, man, we've got talent for days. Females, you know, amateurs. We, it's just, it's an amazing place to be, man. You know, everybody's pushing for the same goals. Everybody's got the same thing, you know in their minds, every, the same work ethic. And you place yourself around the best if you want to be the best. I and mean, that's just the way I've always thought it. To iron sharpens iron. And, you know, there's just there's just no better way to go about the business, man. If you're, if you're serious about it, get your get, get your ass in there and go to work. You know what I mean? And, and there's no better place. Lauren Landau, Landau Performance. Uh, if you know that guy, he's the Denver Broncos strength and conditioning coach. And he owns a facility out there. And, and you know, Eric Telly, he's my strength and conditioning coach. Man, he's just amazing people. You know, they did my cardio. I mean. You look at my record. There's not a whole lot of times Brian Foster's finished somebody in the third round. You know what I mean? So he kept me in the fight, man. He keeps my heart in it. You know, my kids keep my heart in it. And, and you know, I fight with my heart and my hands follow. So it's just the way it goes. Hey, Brian, you mentioned when you had your injury in, in Daytona. You mentioned you kind of questioned it. Can you just kind of uh, elaborate on that a little bit? Dude, when, 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 I mean, that's in every sport, football, hockey, the ACL has always been the most feared thing to go. Do you know, it, when you lose a knee, it's like walking's a problem, <laughs> running's a problem, and competing is a definite problem. So yeah, man, it, when, when it happened to me, it was definitely a shock, and it definitely shook my world a little bit. You know, I couldn't help my teammates, I couldn't help, couldn't run with my kids and, and stuff like that. And uh, you know, and ultimately that was what the deciding factor was for me. That's why I didn't stay down too long. I mean, I may have cried about it for a day. You know, but when you see those six sets of little eyes watching you, man, it, it, it picks you back up. It's like, hey, we can do this. We'll, we'll get through this, man. You're going to go through it one day, too. You know what I mean? That's just it, man. That's that's my life in a nutshell right there. You know, I, I bust my ass because those little eyes that are watching me, man. You know, I'm pushing. I'm doing 10 push-ups, and it's like he's doing 10. It's like, oh, I'm doing one more. You do one more. Yeah. It's it's kind of that way for me, man. Every time I run my miles, my and I'm – I'm just getting it. I got my headphones on, but then I look down. And they're right on my heels, man. You know what I mean? It's like if I slow down, he's going to slow down. I don't want that kid to slow down. I want him to run as hard as he can, too. So that's just the way I live my life, man. You know? Talk about being a veteran of this sport and the opportunity PFL provides you coming in here. And also, other fighters are great veterans of the sport. Also, talk about how you have that sense of urgency that maybe a lot of other fighters don't have when you're losing the fight. Excuse me? That sense of urgency that you have. When uh, other fighters may not have, when you're, when you're down in the store cards, you're losing a fight. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, honestly the, you know, I don't know, the, 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 the quick you think of it, the more urgent you get, kind of, because you think you're down, the more mistakes you're probably going to make, man. So the best thing is to just remain calm, you know, keep yourself composed, and go out there and hit your mark. You know what I mean? Don't, don't get overzealous. Don't try too hard. Don't, 
you know, take it as it comes, man. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I felt like I was down a few times, but it's at the same time, it's like my guys text me like, man, are you just resting? You know, and it's like, no, man, I was just, I was playing the game to the point where I knew we couldn't throw elbows. We got a great rule here. You know, I think it's, it's, it's going to be difficult for some of us to round off, you know. But uh, you can definitely tell in the fight that a few of these boys wanted to throw them. Um, but it's just, it's just a big difference. It's awesome, do you know what I mean, to have that in there. And I think that, uh, you know, I, just, I was just playing the game with them, man. Do you know, I, PFL's doing a wonderful job. Great job, man. It's, hard. it's really hard to rally these guys, you know, and get them all on the same page and, and have a show go as good as it, you know, it's supposed to. You know, so it, you know, from the drivers to the to the you know the organizing, and it's just it's it's just a horrible horrible job for some of these guys, you know. But they get it done, man. PFL's doing an amazing job, and it's it's a, I wouldn't I, and honestly, I, I, UFC could call me tomorrow, and I'd, just, I'd tell them to f off. You know what I mean? Because I, I love being where I'm at, man. The loyalty that that World Series of Fighting showed me and giving me a chance to come in and be a part of a professional league to show my sons that I could be a professional athlete, dude. I'm forever grateful, forever grateful. I wake up every day and tell my sons I'm a professional athlete. You know, it's a dream come true, man. It really is. Are you willing to hang your head on uh, your final performance if it was in PFL? Let's say you made it all the way to the championship. No, nah, man, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would ne- I w- I'm not going to hang my head about any bit of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm living my dream, man. You know what I mean? Like, my kids get to see their dad on TV. My, my, you know, I get, to, I get to be my, my hometown hero. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they love the fact that somebody can come from nothing and become something. Do you know what I mean? And I tell them that every day, man. You can do it, too. It's not just me. It's, it's in your heart and it's in your head. You can do this, man. You know, don't don't listen to anybody that tells you that you can't. You know what I mean? And that's just kind of the way I live life, man. I mean, would you hang your hat on that final Oh, absolutely. Performance? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it better be a damn good one to hang my hat on. You know what I mean? I, I'm not going to go out on a loss. Dude, that's just, I've never lost, even today, it remains true. I've never lost twice in a row, and I've never lost the same way twice. And that's going to be the case until I retire, man. I'm not that guy that's going to take six knockouts to figure out, oh, I should probably hang him up. No, that's not me, man. That's not me. I got way too big of a heart, and I'm way too damn good at what I do.